Okay, my name's uh, Brian McNeil. I come from Tarbert, Argyll, on the west coast of Scotland, UK. I first uh, came to China, where I am now, was for stem cell treatment over uh, one year ago. It was May last year. I first came over for treatment for my condition called cerebellar hereditary ataxia, SCA1, which is a muscle wasting illness. Gradually, average age to contract the disease is between 30 and 40 years old, and gradually debilitates you into a wheelchair and death. The worst, the worst thing of, of all was uh, a shakiness and nervousness. I mean, attacks uh, is an illness that which attacks the nervous system. So the nerves, for me, just to carry shaking, when you're walking, you're shaking, when your gait gets worse, for walking for balance. Uh, but uh, for that all to stop and energy, I felt very fatigued all the time. I mean, all the time, just totally. If I went out for a walk for 20 minutes, I, was back, I had to go for a sleep. Uh, legs would be sore so I'd be feel very tired and uh, I have only medication I take is uh, for acid indigestion which I think every uh, taxi a sufferer has you just take one a day it's common all the taxi I suffer seem to suffer severe heartburn there's nothing for you there's they don't because uh, I think uh, my illness is a very low percentage in all illnesses in the world. I don't think it's something they really want to look into. But uh, I don't particularly think uh, BCA as such, when they started stem cell treatments, I don't think, oh, we want to cure attacks at SA1. They've just found that uh, it has a real good effect on SA1. And I'm very fortunate. It's, I'm very fortunate to have this illness. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first uh, heard about stem cell treatment, it was one thing I wanted to try for my own illness. In my family, I have three sisters, two of whom have passed away through the illness, one was aged 42, one was aged 48, which left just my father and my other sister. My father is clear from the illness. It would come from my mother's side. Uh, my other sister, remaining sister, is 53, I think. <laughs> uh, she has the illness. Uh, and myself has illness. I traced my family tree back to 1850, which there is over 33 deaths. Uh, so to hear of something that could maybe help, which there was nothing for previous family members, it was one thing I wanted to do for myself and for my children and for all my cousins who have the illness as well. Uh, growing up, two of the eldest sisters were, had moved away from home as I grew up with one older sister. Uh, my mother, I remember when she was around 40 years old, she had started uh, with the illness. So growing up, my mother was uh, disabled as such, walking with one stick, then grabs on to two sticks, then in the wheelchair, then just uh, totally relied on care all the time before her death. Uh, it took maybe till I was, this was all through my early teens, 
I remember going to the doctors then and the whole family then being offered a blood test. This would have been in 1983-84 and they asked then if I wanted to know if I had the illness and of course at this age you don't want to know. You, why have the burden of knowing you have this? Oh, you would, your life would be yeah. terrible. There's no point in knowing. Enjoy your life. So all the way up to 20, I was 21 when my mother had passed away. So I had grown up with illness and seeing it firsthand, uh, I understood. And I kind of suppose I kind of half ex expected to get the illness, say a 50-50 chance of getting it. But there was always that high possibility of getting it. Um, maybe 21 mother died so a little older my sister a few years later she had had contracted the illness as well uh, I mean throughout my family there's been uncles who I've grown up with as it's a small place to live in uncles aunties cousins all with ataxia so who I our family was quite a big family within the village so everybody knew they just say oh that's the family disease you know it's, they see these people around the, the town and think oh that's it's normal you know it's normal to see them like this so this is one of the reasons to come to China for stem cells is to try and halt this everybody seems to be going through the the motions just such no help at home just slowly deteriorate. Family disease. <laughs> Purely through my own determination of uh, browsing the internet, because of having heard of stem cell treatment and all possible things they had been doing, uh, it was looking through the internet and finding the Beaker website on the internet, yeah. Well, having heard of, uh, it was a guy I worked for, uh, his son had been to Holland, I think it was, where there was uh, a company there previously, a few years before, uh, had been a scam for using stem cells. Uh, I was fairly skeptical about it, but I haven't contacted uh, the website and spoken to two previous patients. Uh, I was very much put at ease by these people, although there's still always a fear. Oh, this could be a big scam. It could be that. Could be these people could be actors. It could be anybody writing these email. But no, I felt quite confident, you know, and even been able to. I think I must have conversed about. 15 emails before I even contemplated coming to China, yeah. So I was confident enough. I, they were two I had spoken to, one in Australia, one in Canada, and it was a family of six that had been, I think, for treatment, and uh, they had all told me the improvements and they were glad they'd come. Uh, and since myself having the treatment, having the similar results as to what he had told me. Uh, I have now spoken to three others with SCA1 who have come for the treatment and have all told me the exact same results as myself. So there's a definite history of stem cells and ataxia. <laughs>